Hey everybody, welcome back to our series on OOP with PHP. Last week we talked about classes and objects. This week we're going to be talking about magic methods. Now in PHP there are a total of 15 magic methods and they are the construct, destruct, call, call static, get, set, is set, unset, sleep, wake up, to string, invoke, set state, clone, and debug info. Okay, now magic functions in PHP are a predefined function by the PHP compiler, which executes on a specific event. As you can see from this list, magic functions start with the double underscore prefix. Okay, I'm including magic methods in the video series because they are the most applied methods in PHP classes. If you went through last week's video, then you've seen the construct function in practice. Construct is a magic method which is automatically called in the, on the instantiation of an object. Now it's important to note that PHP reserves all function names starting with the double underscore as magical. You cannot have function names prefixed with the double underscore unless you want some documented magic functionality. Okay. In this video, we're going to discuss some of the most common magic methods of PHP that are used in object-oriented programming. The most common magic methods to use are the construct, destruct, get, set, uh, call static, is set, unset, and to string. And these are the functions we will be looking at in this video. If you want to know more about the other magic methods, those are listed on the php.net manual website, and I'll make sure that link is in the description of the video. Uh, let's look now at the construct and the destruct methods. Okay, the construct function is called when you instantiate an object, whereas the destruct function is called when you destroy your object, such as in this example here, where we have in our class, my class, the construct function to echo out the number one and the destruct function to echo out the number two. So when we run object t or variable object t equals new my class, the construct is automatically executed and prints one on the screen. And when we run unset variable object t right after to destroy our object, the destruct function is called to echo out the number two. Okay, now that's basically your construct and your destruct in a nutshell. Uh, you generally use your construct to set variables uh, such as uh, public And then you do generally use your construct for something along these lines. Okay. Uh, now we have the get, set, call, and call static methods. All of these are directly rel related with no accessible method and property of a class. Okay, the get takes one argument and executes when any inaccessible property of the method is called. It takes the name of the property as an argument. The set takes two properties and executes when the object tries to set value in an inaccessible property. The first parameter is the name of the property and the second is the value of the object it's trying to set. The call method fires when your object is trying to call a method of property which is either non-accessible or not available. It takes two parameters, the first being the name of a function and the second is an array which are arguments passed in the function. And then we have call static. This is a static magic function. 
It ex executes when any method of your class is called by static techniques. I personally never use this magic method as I believe that static should be avoided at all costs. Okay. So. Here you can see example of all of these magic methods in practice. So we have our get right and then we have our set and so with our get we are passing in a name and we're just echoing out get is executed with the name name our set we're passing in a name and a value set is executed with the name name value a value uh, call we're setting a name and a parameter the parameter is an array so we're pulling out uh, specific name in the array uh, public function call static uh, name parameter same thing is as, as the call so we create our new object here we're calling our set so very object a abc equals three you see that i do not have a variable abc and so our set magic function will be triggered okay now we have app equals variable a pqr or object a pqr okay we do not have anything any variable pqr and so we have our get being executed and then we have a get my name choke choke hub etc okay this will do our call magic magic function is executed on that and then the last is my class and this should actually be double colon so my class double colon xyz one qpc test our call static will be executed on that one okay now we have is set and unset magic methods uh, these are commonly used in PHP and their polar opposites of each other is set executes when the function is set is applied on a property which is not available or not defined. It takes the name of a parameter as an argument. Unset triggers when the function unset is applied on a property which is either not defined or not accessible. It too takes the name of a parameter as an argument. And we can see these here. So we have our public function is set passing in the name and we're just echoing out data same thing with unset passing in a name and again just echoing out data so we do variable a equals new my class to instantiate our object and then we ask our object is set variable a x in this case it's it would re return false but we have our magic function is set and we're making it echo out is set is called for name name right and similarly unset unset very object a c and last but not least we have our two string magic method and I know this video is super short uh, there's a lot more that I could have gone into with magic methods, but we're going to end with our two string magic method. Okay, and that is here. Okay, so the two string method, as in this file here, allows a class to decide how it will react when it's treated like a string. So, for example, uh, we have class equals new my class hello echo class so we're echoing out the entire object in most cases you would get some sort of a two string error if you don't have uh, 
this magic method employed. Okay, but when we do our class, so we have class my class, public variable foo, public function construct foo, and then we set foo to to this, right? And then public function to string return this foo. Now, my IDE is telling me to string met, must return a string, blah, 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 whatever. We can get rid of that simply by typecasting for this example. In most cases, you wouldn't have to typecast, okay? If the method is trying to read turn anything other than a string a fatal error is emitted now I commonly use this on user classes uh, to string together a first name last name and a username in a readable way similar to this so I have my public first name public last name public username I set a first name set a last name and set a username and then we have our two string magic method that returns this first name a space last name and then in parentheses I will do a username right so super simple here we instantiate the object so uh, variable object equals new my class object set first name choke set last name hub set username choke and then we echo out the object and the output will look like choke space hub and then in parentheses we'll have the word choke all right and with that we're finished talking about uh, magic methods in php i hope you learn something here again i know that it's super short there's more that i could have gone into so if you want to learn more uh, you can actually learn all there is to know on the php.net manual. And like I said before, I'll make sure that the link to that form to directly to magic methods is in the description of the video. As always, please be sure to like and share our videos and subscribe to the Choke Hub channel. And of course, let me know what you think in the comments section below. Next week, we're going to discuss visibility in PHP. And remember, you can find us online at our website at chokehub.com. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, and GitHub, so look for us there. Again, I hope you learned something today, and thank you for watching. Have a great time, and happy programming.